Okay, today we're going to manipulate the data we got from our towing cost lab. Now, one of the things you're going to notice in this group, we have the monohybrid cross. You have just the kids from our class and their information. You'll notice in this group, I actually included data from last year's class because you really need big numbers to make the dihybrid cross work. Part of the reason is when you have a monohybrid cross, there's only really four different possibilities. Um, heads, heads, heads from the father, tails from the mother, tails from the father, heads from the mother, tails, tails, both tails from the parents. Okay, whereas in the die head hybrid cross, there's like 16 possibilities. The whole point of probability is you need really big numbers to get the ratios to work correctly. Okay, so what we're going to do, we actually need to add a couple of columns in here, uh, rows I should say. So what we're going to do is, the first thing you do, you're going to open this up in either Open Office or Excel. The, the basic uh, process is the same. And you're going to go right click and you're going to go insert row. And I'm going to suggest you insert a couple of rows. Let's do a, three rows. Insert row, right click, insert row. Click on the lead, the number at the beginning of the row, right click, insert rows. Okay, so that just makes it a little bit easier for us to get done what we need to do. Now, first thing we're going to do, okay, in this fourth column, this fourth row, is you're going to type sum. Now, you notice what I'm doing is I'm totaling everything up at the top. Okay, um, you don't need to do anything with the names of the participants, all right? And, um, but you do want to keep that because you're going, to, you're going to do a little extra thing at the end. All right. So I'm going to go sum. In order to sum, we have to actually, I'm going to actually type this in in the, the formula bar up here. So I'm just going to click here. And then you're going to notice I'm going to type equals because this is a formula. All right. And we're going to type in the word sum. And then we're going to open parenthesis. Okay, so shift 9 is the beginning parenthesis. And then you're just going to click and drag all the way down. All right, to catch all the numbers. And then you're going to go shift, close parenthesis. All right, now you see that? Now when you hit enter, that sums everything up. Now we could, now just to prove to yourself if you want to, you could add all these numbers up. Or you could take my word for it that 67 is the sum of all these numbers. Okay, most people won't bother to check, but trust me, it does work out. So now in this next row, what we're going to do is, we're, again, we're going to type in equals, and then we're going to type in sum, S-U-M, open parenthesis, all right, and drag it down. Now we could do that over and over again, but that's actually not really necessary, okay? Because what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to, going to do what's called a drag fill, all right? If I click over here where the 67 is, where the sum is, I actually, all I want to do is sum up all these columns. So I'm going to drag over the corner. You notice the cross, when you get to the corner, there's a little square, turn, the cursor turns into a cross. When it does that, you're just going to drag it over to these three rows. Actually, I'm going to make a mistake intentionally here. Watch what happens. All right, 137, 58, and now it says zero because there were no numbers in here to add up because it's all names. Okay, I kind of did that to be goofy. All right, so there you go. So there's, there's your sum. Now, what I'm going to do here, now that I'm over in this column that says names of participants, I'm actually going to total up these three columns, 67, 135, and 58, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to type in equals sum of, open parenthesis, these three guys, and hit, and close parenthesis, and hit enter, and you should get 260. So that's kind of cool. Now, the next thing I want to do, Next thing I want to do is I actually want to get a percent because I want to see what the percent of uh, offspring, uh, percent of um, coins that came up head heads were. So I'm going to type in the word percent here at the beginning of the column, and then I'm just going to actually calculate percents. Now this is a very very simple way of doing this. Okay, um, what we're going to do is we're going to type in equals, and I'm going to be in this case it's the number right below it, 67 divided by 260. All right, and that works really, really well. All right, it gives me a, a decimal, which I'm going to convert in a sec. But the problem is, when I go and do a relative drag fill, if I were to draw, drag this over, something weird is going to happen. And the reason is, is because it thinks I want to drag everything over. In other words, I want to divide this by this column next to the 260, which is not what I want to do. I want to divide by the 260 each time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in front of the F4, I'm going to put in the dollar sign, Shift 4. What the dollar sign does, and I'm not sure where they came up with that. I think they just decided they needed a symbol that they weren't going to be using. They use the dollar sign to say this is always the number we're going to use. 
So I'm going to drag this guy across, and boom, that's what I get. All right. Now, here's the problem, though. I want this to be expressed as a percent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this row here, get the whole row at the same time. And you see the little percent sign? That will format everything as a percent. Now, what do you notice? Well, it's actually pretty cool. It's a, uh, it's a 9, a 25% to 51% to 22%, which is very close to 1 to 2 to 1. All right. What I'm going to do next for the ratio is since there are four possibilities, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to divide each one of these by 25% to see how close to a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio I've got. All right. So it's going to type in equals this number here divided by, and then the number is going to be. Um, 25. All right. Oops. I'm going to drag that over. And that's not what I want it to be. I'm sorry. It's not divided by 25. It's divided by 0.25 because that's what 25% is. It expresses a decimal. Boom. And that's my ratio. Boom. 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. You notice it's very, very close to 1 to 2 to 1, but not quite. Well, why isn't it a perfect ratio? Well, it's very simple. The reason it's not a perfect ratio is because when you deal with this, you're dealing with very, very large numbers. Okay, you need perfect, not large numbers to get a perfect ratio because it's only a probability. All right, now, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to try to get it started for you. All right, in here, you're going to, in, in this guy here, what you're going to do is you're going to take the number and divide it by 0.25, right? All right, because there's 25. Let's go to the die hybrid cross. Well, just to make it easy for you guys, I'm going to start off. We're going to go insert, row, insert, row, insert, row. Whoops, cancel. Wow, these are big. And I'm just going to click on everything, and I think I'm just going to format these rows a little bit smaller because these guys are way too big. Let's go like that. Drag that guy up like that. That guy goes home. Okay. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit more. And so I'm just going to copy the information over. So the monohybrid cross, the bottom of these is going to be sum. Right? And then the next one is going to be percent. So I'm going to go dihybrid cross percent. And then the last one, I think I goofed up. I should have written here ratio. And that's what's going to come over here ratio. Now, what are you going to do? Because I don't want to make it too easy for you. Now what you guys are going to do is you're going to go back and you're going to follow the same exact instructions. You're going to put a sum here, so it's going to equals, and you want to go back and redo this, equals, sum, open parenthesis, and all the numbers below it. The next one's going to be sum. Next one, this one here is going to be sum. Sum. And this one over here, over the names, is going to be the sum of this, 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 and this. This whole row is going to be summed up. All right. The only thing you need to remember when you go to do this is the ratio is going to be one sixteenth. All right. So what you're going to do is actually to do one sixteenth, you're going to take one divided by sixteen. All right. We can do that right here. Equals one divided by sixteen, and that's the number you're going to divide everything by. All right, to get the ratio, okay, because that's the number of different possible combinations you can get. All right, I want you guys to do this. You're going to upload it, and this is going to be worth 25 points. All right, so make sure you go all the way through. Make a little mistake. That's not a problem.